Hello, we're going to be looking at sound font files a little bit today, just touching on them in LMMS. As I mentioned in a previous video, a sound font file is basically a file that contains a bunch of samples. They could be recordings of instruments, drums, guitars, other instruments, and um, they're, they're very useful uh, for for getting sometimes realistic sounding if you get good samples. But what I'm going to show you today is in LMMS how to use um, some pretty good sound fonts. You can go out there and find them online, but there's some in your repositories. So we're going to jump in over here and have a quick look at LMMS and then install some sound fonts and see how they work. Okay, here we go. Um, so, if I start up LMMS, Linux Multimedia Studio, and I can go projects and I can go import. I can import a MIDI file. As I've mentioned in a previous video, MIDI files are basically just music notes. Uh, they, uh, they don't make any sound themselves. So when I start this up, you can see that this particular MIDI file has three tracks with three different instruments. And if I press play, you don't hear anything. Uh, and if I was to open up one of these instruments, you can see the piano is going as if it's being played, but you notice there's no sound font file selected. Now, sound font file, again, is samples, and it can contain more than one instrument. You can have different instruments on different notes, but you can also have different, as they're called, patches, to where you can jump through, and you can have basically one sound font file with a, a whole orchestra of instruments. So what we're going to do is we're going to close LMMS here. And again, you can go online and find sound font files. But if we quickly look in our package manager here, either using aptitude or apt cache, if you're on Ubuntu and don't have aptitude installed by default, you can say apt cache search. And we can do sound uh, font. I believe it's all one word. And you can see you get a bunch of lists here. But right here, we can see the TIM GM S, or sorry, 6BM sound font file. And now, if we were to use apt cache again and say show, we can see what that looks like. And it says right here uh, that this is a small but complete GM sound font originally packaged with uh, uh, MuseScore 1.3, but dropped when they got to version 2. But you can still install it. And when you install it, it's going to go to this directory, USR share sound sound font 2. Uh, if I list out that directory right now, you can see that I already have it installed. If you do have aptitude installed, and I was to do search for the name of this package, you can see next to the name it has an I, meaning it's installed. But now that I know where it is, I can utilize it. So let's start up LMMS again, and I'm going to go and I'm going to say again, import, and I'll import this simple MIDI file. It's telling me here that I don't have a sound font file set up. I'm going to click, just click OK. And again, if I press play, we don't hear anything. But I can open up each instrument. And I can say open up. And I can go to that directory. And I can load up that file. So that's for that instrument. Now I can start up another instrument here. And again, go to that folder and choose that file. And now you can hear the other instrument is running. And you can see that even though we're using the same sound font file, we're using different patches. We have here, we have a uh, Piano 3, we have Contra Bass, and if we load up this one, we can do it again, by loading up that directory, loading up that file, and this is, so we have Piano 3, Piano 1, and Contra Bass, which comes in down here. And I can turn off each instrument. I don't know how well you can hear that. There we go. I'm recording the audio out my speakers back into my microphone for right now, just because that's the simplest way to do it. Okay, so that's great, but I had to go and load it for each instrument. And you can import a MIDI file that has, you know, 20 tracks, and you'd have to go that do that for each one. And again, this is a great sound font file because it has a bunch of different instruments in it. If some sound font files are just one instrument, which means you'd have to load up a separate one for each one. If it doesn't sound good, you have to change it. I can quickly change through the different patches uh, by scrolling over this patch directory here, or I can click this settings and see what each one is called. So I can change the instruments very quickly, uh, and they're all labeled very well in this sound font file. But again, if I have 20 tracks, I don't want to have to load up every single uh, instrument individually. 
Luckily, if I go to edit settings in LMMS, I can go to this folder here and you can see default sound font file. And if there's nothing there and you've installed the current sound font file, you can go to that directory and choose it and click OK. It says that the changes won't take effect till next time you start LMMS. So we'll just go ahead, discard that, and we will start up LMMS again. And this time, when I say import, and I go and I, ins oh, and I choose that MIDI file, it has already loaded up those uh, instruments. So I can just go ahead and press play. Now, again, I don't have to use these sound files. If they load, I can change them. So I can change them as we're listening to it, for example. So you can quickly switch through the instruments like that. And if I want to use a synthesizer or some other instrument, I can quickly and easily just drag one and replace that instrument. By default, LMMS, if it, when importing MIDIs, is going to try to use sound font files. And if you have that one set as default, you're going to be pretty good to go, at least as a starting base. So I hope you found this useful. Again, uh, this one sound font file may not be perfect for all projects. Of course, when it comes to making music, you're going to want different sounds depending on what you're creating, but it does have a large variety of instruments set up in the proper order that most MIDI files are going to be set up for when it comes to, this is supposed to be a trumpet, it's going to be a trumpet when it goes to look there under that patch. It's a pretty standard format. So go ahead, should be in your repositories, check it out, and at least have it set up so when you import a MIDI to um, LMMS, uh, you're ready to go and of course you can use this in lots of other programs lots of programs use sound font files It's a fairly standard format for instrument sampling And as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K There should be a link in the description Please think about visiting my patreon site patreon.com forward slash melix1000 to support me If you can't support me financially, you can always help me out by liking subscribing sharing and commenting those help me greatly Just spread my videos and as always I hope that you have a great day